Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fenix here again. Today, we are talking about preparation. Now, what are we going on about when I say preparation? Well, we all know the Mr. Pandaria beta is already out and people have been testing. And, of course, this means the actual expansion will be out sometime in the very near future. Um, it could be a matter of months. Um, I'm kind of op optimistic. I think it's going to come out around Christmas time. Um, but I could be totally wrong, it could come out in two months, it could come out in three months, we just don't know yet. Uh, there's no actual release date, which sucks, but hopefully we can get on the beta, test stuff out, and let's get back on topic. So, preparation, what are we actually being in preparation of? Well, of course, the expansion. Now, I am going to be rolling a Brewmaster Monk, simply because it's a new tanking class, and I love to tank, so... That's my goal, to be prepared for my brewmaster. Now, <clears throat> doing my research from what information I can gather, because I haven't got access to the beta yet, so I can't actually confirm any of this, but from what I understand, brewmasters will be able to use um, one-handed weapons, such as axes, maces. They're not allowed to use daggers, and for only they're only allowed to use two two-handers, which is staffs or staves, however you want to pronounce it, um, and also pole, harm, pole arms. Um, now, they don't do any of them um, for the bind on equip stuff, and they only do a staff, which is a healing staff. And because I'm going a tank, I obviously need more of like, I guess it's going to be agility based stuff, because we're going to be like, kind of like druids in a sense, but we don't have to go into bear form because we're already in kind of a stance, um, which is the brewmaster stance which I think is called the Ox Stance. So, that's going to basically increase our armor and stuff. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work. I think we are based off, um, of course, agility, so we're going to be based off dodge. So, dodge is going to be our top priority, which is confirmed by some of their skills, increasing their dodge chance. Um, it doesn't say anything about parry. So, I do believe we're going to be like um, druids in the sense of tanking, um, warriors in the sense of stances, and of course, for moves, I think we're going to be a cross between Death Knights because of, because we use um, Chi and Light Energy to actually use abilities. And it, much like, um, of course, Death Knights with their runes. But of course, a Rogue as well because Rogue uses Energy and so does the Monk. But then again, it is called something different. So there's a lot of things going on here on just this one class, which is really... Um, you know, mind-boggling to try get your head around it. At least for me, it is. Um, now, the thing I can't comprehend in my mind at the minute, because I'm so used to tanking, is how am I going to AOE tank? Now, I've seen a lot of videos of the um, dungeons with pandas, and everyone's just taking fret off the tank. Um, because, of course, they all can DPS, even healers DPS. Um, so, it's very like, oh, I want to keep aggro, I'm supposed to keep aggro, what am I supposed to do? So that's why I'm a little mind boggled by it. And they don't have a lot of AOE um, abilities that I know of. So, how do they AOE tank? I know I've seen one ability which is like a keg that they throw. So that's kind of cool, I think that's going to be one of um, the AOE ability tanking. And it also does interact with other abilities later on you get. They kind of um, amplify them, if you will. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will be coming out with more information, more real information, you know, um, information that is true. Um, at the minute, I'm just speculating on a lot of things because, of course, I don't have bit, um, access to the beta yet. Anyways, let's talk about preparation. So, as we're saying, I'm going Brewmaster Tank. And of course, level working is going to be a kind of a key item to build up really cool items, get all the epic patterns, and uh, basically, if I do join the raiding guild, then of course, I'm going to be able to get the patterns and make myself um, pretty cool stuff. So what have I been doing? Well, <clears throat> I have been gathering level working stuff. Now, I'm currently playing my mage, who does have level working, and the reason I'm doing this is because... When the new expansion comes out, all the gear that you guys have worked so hard to get, it's going to be useless because there's no way you, that gear will be better than the greens and the blues that you are going to get at the beginning of the new questing zone in Mr. Pandaria. It won't work like that simply because they're introducing a new class which is the Monk. So the Monk 
cannot level and then um, expect to do raids and stuff like that to get the gear necessary to be successful in the new areas. So this is why they're going to be putting in the really cool blue blue items and green items that are going to be 10 times better than your current raiding gear. I think the only gear that would be comparable is probably heroic gear that would be, you know, okay to still use. Um, so this is why I'm not bothering gearing any character up because if I'm not going to be playing them in the Mr. Pandaria, I'm going to be focusing on my brewmaster. I'm going to do all I can to prepare for when that comes out. So... He does have level working, and I'm currently skinning all this stuff. Now, I'm reading a guide off a website, and basically it just tells me all the materials that I need to get from 1 to 525, which is, I do have enough um, light leather. I need to get a bit more medium, a lot more um, thick, a lot more heavy. So the next few days, even weeks, I'm going to be gathering all these materials because I think you need like over 900 savage leather to actually um, get by mats and stuff and actually uh, make the items, craft them to skill up. So there's tons of stuff you need. Now this is one of my characters that I have. Um, of course this is the mage that we used to, uh, I'm sorry not mage, priest that we used to play um, back in the live streaming stuff. <laughs> it still isn't um, 85, but I've, I've, I've had time or be bothered to actually level it. But anyways, so this is one of the characters which is going to be storing all my leather stuff on. My mage also will be storing a lot of stuff. And of course, um, I have a rogue as well, which I think I'll buy bags and buy a bank out. Um, so I can actually store other stuff on there. So I'm using all these characters to actually store all this stuff on. So once I start leveling and I finish for the night, I can spend at least half an hour, um, you know, going through my professions and boosting them up. And that way I'm not really losing out on time uh, from actual leveling. Um, so I think that's going to be a good idea. Now, what professions am I going to take? Well, I'm going to take leather working and skinning on my brewmaster simply because it's, it's the most suitable um, professions to go. Um, I'm also going to go cooking as well. So once I've got all the leather stuff, I'm going to work on getting the cooking material. Why? Because one of the brewma well not brewmasters, but monks um, passives is that you get double the benefit um, from food buffs. So if you get, eat a food buff that gives you 100 agility and 100 um, stamina, you're actually going to get 200 agility and 200 stamina. It's going to double what the buff you have, which is insanely good, especially for leveling. That edge that you can get is definitely worth it. So I'm definitely going to be boosting up cooking. It's going to be a, a very, very, very viable stat for monks, um, especially for monks. Um, I'm not going to bother with fishing, it's too time consuming, um, of course I've got to do that myself, I can't get other stuff for that, so it's a, it's a waste of time um, as for trying to do it through leveling, um, might do it in the future, who knows, um, archaeology, it could be good, it will give you quite a lot of XP um, for leveling, it could help in the leveling process, but still it, it means you're going to have to go out of your way to go to different locations to, to actually um, Archaeology, or whatever you call it, I don't even know what it's called. Um, what do you call it? Um, Constivate? Not, I can't even remember what the hell it's called. Ugh. But anyways, um, it, I don't think it's going to be viable, it's just going to waste too much time. And of course gold. Now, we need enough gold to buy flying mounts. And I kind of wonder what the... Um, monk mount would be i think it's going to be some type of dragon or summer because you know it's all the chinese um themed stuff um so hopefully i'll get enough gold um at the minute i've got about 6k of course grinding and just just generally generally selling stuff on the auction house is a good idea as well and if we jump over to the auction house i've actually i sold um i think it was 200 um of that silk cloth, em ember silk cloth, um, I sold that for 85 um, gold a stack, so I got quite a lot of gold from that. At the minute I'm selling these gems, I'm selling um, the enchants for mastery, I'm selling this stuff, I'm selling wool, silk, anything that I get on my uh, mage that's you know ideal for selling, I'm gonna sell it, such as these stuff, because 
coming closer to the expansion, people are going to actually start doing this stuff and actually being prepared, selling herbs and stuff in the auction house. So other pandas um, who want to maybe level herbalism, like the Miss Weaver, they would actually go through the auction house and just buy all the items instead. So if you want to make a lot of gold, definitely start farming the mats now, make a, a bank character, sit, send a lot of stuff over there, and then when you get closer to the expansion, or even when the expansion releases, put it on the auction house, and of course you're going to get lots of um, profit from it, which I'm tempted to do, uh, but at the minute my priority is to actually um, get my stuff, the stuff that I need, so I'm just going to... So we're gonna see how much heavy lever is. So it's f f almost five gold per one lever, and it's sixty, almost sixty gold um, for, of course, twenty. So imagine if I sold all that stuff that I had, I'd make quite a lot of gold, especially if people are actually buying it. And uh, let's try light. So like again, single. Um, well, let's look at these stacks. See, that's seventy gold. That is really expensive. Um, I don't know why it's that much, but of course, um, definitely farm it. Um, I got my skin into um, 525 in f just under 4 hours, actually. Um, it's very easy to um, skin. Just make sure you've got, you know, lots of bag space um, and you should be good to go. So, guys, I hope this basically give you an insight to what you should be doing um, if you are actually doing anything in WoW. Um, you just... You're bored, you maybe you're running some dungeons for fun of it. Um, you've got nothing really to do. You know, if you're going to make a brewmaster or a monk, should, should I say, um, definitely just get prepared now. Um, it's definitely better to do it now rather sooner to the date because then everyone's going to be farming. It's going to be a pain in the ass to actually farm, especially if you're on a PvP server. Um, and just generally be prepared. Um, I'm going to be. Uh, getting my cooking stuff, I'm going to be getting my um, profession stuff and then of course I do have my heirlooms as well which let me show you because there's only one thing I actually need um, to complete my heirloom set which is a trinket. Um, now I'm, I'm really disappointed with the fact that there's no two-handed weapon that monks can use apart from the staff and um, which sucks because it's, it's a healing staff. Um, actually, we just need to go in here. Um, so let's have a look here. I've got the two maces. One's got Crusader on. I've got the bow, but that's kind of um, useless now because, well, <laughs> no one can use um, weapons like that except for hunters. Um, I've got the shoulders. I've got the chest. I've got one trinket. I do have enough um, justice points to get the second. And I also have some bags as well. Um, these bags are going to be pretty ideal, um, especially looting all that stuff. And, of course, you can get all this item pretty um, pretty soon actually from the starting zone. I think it's like level 2 or 3 you go to like a zone where there's a mailbox so you can get this stuff and of course enchant it if you can um, give you the biggest advantage you can and of course you might as well start farming that heirloom items now because god damn they are expensive um, in fact let me just head over to um, where you buy them, I believe it's still down here. Not quite sure where it is in Iron Forge, but let's have a gander because these items are so expensive, it's unbelievable. Now, I hope they're in here. Um, I think Stable Honest is where the Hunter stuff is. Hmm, hmm, they're here somewhere. I'm, I'm sure of it. You know what? Just to save time instead of me looking around. I know they're probably like the next room or summer. I know they are. Oh, I know where they are. Never mind. I know where they are. Um, I believe they're in here. God, it's been that long since I've been in Ironforge. I believe it's... Here we go. Is it this guy? Or is it the guy downstairs? Have I been in Ironforge since... Um, I can't even remember, to be honest. I think it was Raphael Lich King. Even before then. Anyway, let me just go to Storm. It's going to be a lot easier. Sorry about this. <sighs> so we just need the trinket. Um, um, see, I've almost got 6k gold. I actually spent some on um, other stuff, such as bags. Um, but I'll make that money back from the stuff that I sell on the priest, which is good. Definitely, if, if you're farming stuff, farming mobs, go sell that stuff in the auction house. Um, 
being um, a tailorer, I can actually make bags myself, which is pretty cool. Um, by the way, guys, people who used to watch me live stream back in the day, um, I am going to be playing on Grim Batal, um, EU, which is the server that my priest is on, of course. Um, this is the server I'm going to be playing on, so if you do want to... Um, you know, come back if you're coming back to all where you play on this server, then, you know, I look forward to playing um, with you again. Um, that sounded wrong. <laughs> so, let's have a look at the items. So, it's about, it's 2.175k for the, um, the chest. Um, same for the shoulders, but these weapons are ridiculous. 3.5k, um, daggers, we can't use them, even though I've got daggers. Uh, I've got a lot of the other stuff as well, but I can't use it. Now, of course, the trinket as well. Um, increase your haste rating, heals you for blah blah um, whenever you kill. This one is mana, since I don't use mana, I'm going to pick up this. Here we go, that's the last item we need. Um, unfortunately, I'm not in a level 25 guild, so I'm going to be at a disadvantage with the helmet, cloak, and I think it's boots. Not quite sure. Um, I'm currently in a guild called Knights of Pandaria. They're like a level... A level one guild, and they invited me the other day. I think it's going to be um, nice to boost this guild up, um, especially for the new expansion, just the new start. Anyways, let's head over here and stick this trinket in. So we've got two trinkets, we've got shoulders, chest, and we've got two weapons, and then we've got us bags. So the gear-wise, that's pretty good to go. Um, although it only does go up to level eighty. So, unfortunately, when it, we hit, like, 85, the XP is going to go down a little bit, which kind of sucks, but um, whatever can help us get to 85 faster, um, or at least to 80 faster, will do. Uh, I'm not too bothered. Now, unfortunately, if, I mean, if, if you're in a guild that's level 25, you guys can do the same thing, but obviously you're going to be 25, which is going to be an even bigger advantage. So, hope this helped you guys out. Um, sorry it took so, so long. I'm just chatting away. Um, trying to make sure you guys are prepared. And, of course, uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe if this helped you out. And, you know, leave a comment um, saying if you are actually going to, um, you know, pre be prepared for the um, new expansion. Um, what, are, what are you actually going to do in preparation for the new expansion? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And please thumbs up the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.